Selena Gomez turned cheerfully cherished upward with Bo Benny Blanco in new snaps only days subsequent to uncovering she was so discouraged in her at young lady time while dating Justin Bieber. On Thursday morning, the singer, who is 32 years old, posted a collection of photos and videos of herself cuddling with the music producer, who is 36 years old, to Instagram. The slides appeared to be from as of late, as they keep on exploring sentiment, which has been in the public eye for something like a year. In one of the pictures, the cheerful couple nestled up over a beautiful dusk view by the sea as Benny brazenly put his hand on her rear. Selena looked as sigoing cool in a pink crewneck sweatsuit as she energetically stuck her tongue out toward the camera. She showed off her uncomplicated appearance by donning dangling gold earrings and wearing her brunette tresses in a ponytail. She also wore very little makeup. Benny wore a white casual button-down, as there was likewise a video of the two nestling up. The happy couple was seen cuddling up on a couch in another sweet photo. This comes seven days after the superstar conceded that she was so discouraged in her at young lady period. The vocalist, 32, is cheerfully settled with Benny, whom she has been dating since June 2023. She has also thought about how unhappy she was when she was younger, including when she was photographed by paparazzi while she was dating her ex-boyfriend Justin Bieber. In response to old photos of her that were shared on social media, in which she was photographed and posed with a fan, she admitted that she was feeling down at the time. The video on TikTok was set to the song company by her ex-husband Justin, and the caption read, I know this to you that at the time she couldn't have ever gotten connected with to Benny, Blanco, when she was in her at young lady period. Text over the video additionally said Selena's previous self could never date Benny Blanco. Selena responded with, due to the fact that I was so depressed at the time, this makes me laugh. The vocalist dated Justin, 30, here and there for a long time and a couple of months after she and Justin split in 2018, he wedded Hailey Bieber, 27, with whom he is anticipating his most memorable kid, something Selena has not openly remarked on. Selena has told how she cherishes how Benny treats her, expressing on the web in December. He has treated me better than any individual on this planet. She added to Time magazine the artist isn't upset when her fault finders express the most destructive things. Benny surprised her on her 32nd birthday by buying her a necklace with his initial encrusted in jewels. Selena flaunted her precious stone-covered B-neck band of 14-karat gold jewel-studded piece from Los Angeles-based brand Child Gold, which sells for $600 in a photograph posted on Instagram. Benny remarked on the picture. I got the most smoking chick in the game wearing my chain concerning Jay-Z's verse from his public help declaration track. She made a rare comment about her love life in August 2023, reflecting on how she channeled heartbreak into chart-topping hits. During a meeting for the Twilio Signal 2023 gathering the star considered writing her most memorable number one on the board Hot 100, Lose You to Adore Me. At the point when I was going through a tragedy, I right away, you know, compassed my best and needed to show up for each lady or man or whoever, you know, going through that excursion she expressed, suggesting her split from Bieber. The Uncommon Excellence organizer and Canadian vocalist had an on-and-off sentiment between 2010 to 2018, proceeding at last tapping out only months in front of his commitment to now spouse, Hailey Bieber. In her most recent Apple Plus documentary, My Mind and Me, the star of Only Murders in the Building, said that their breakup was the best thing that ever happened to her. She attributed their partition for constraining her to figure out how to pick herself and pick life once more. She said that her hit 2020 song, Lose You to Love Me, was inspired by the split. Everything seemed to everyone. A past relationship that no one wanted to let go of haunted me. Then I just moved past it, and I wasn't apprehensive any longer. I feel like I needed to go through the absolute worst tragedy ever and afterward, failing to remember everything at the drop of the hand, it was truly befuddling. However, I simply believe that was necessary, and in the end, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. She went on to say that the song had been written in just 45 minutes. It's about more than just a broken heart. It's me figuring out how to pick myself, to pick life, yet in addition trusting that individuals can find elegance and harmony in that as well. The tune is tied in with realizing that you totally lost all aspects of who you are simply to rediscover yourself once more. Selena and Justin were inseparable as teenagers, but they split up again in 2018, just a few months before he married Hailey in a courthouse. The month after Justin wedded Hailey, 
Selena supposedly experienced a breakdown associated with her lupus and entered treatment for her emotional well-being. Gomez opened up about being diagnosed with her autoimmune disease as a teenager during her most recent interview. At the point when I got determined to have lupus, I was around 16 or 17. It was an extremely severe cycle, and I didn't appreciate it by any means she reviewed. I was able to visit a child in the hospital a few years later, but they wouldn't look at me until I told them I also had lupus. The Wolves vocalist proceeded. Because I could recreate that moment, that's when I realized that I was the victim of that. In any event, while talking about her kidney relocate, the entertainer said she attempts her hardest to consider these encounters to be minutes to remind others striving that they're in good company. She continued, I'm a work in progress, and it's just one day at a time. Back in 2020, Gomez alluded to herself as a casualty to specific maltreatment in a past relationship during a meeting with NPR. I've tracked down the strength in it. Remaining in a casualty mentality is perilous. She stated, and I'm not being disrespectful, I do feel like I was a victim of certain abuse.